Stuart, are you ready? I am ready, sir. All right, please welcome Stuart Maxwell. Hang on. Thank you. So these are just uh, like 19 different conversation starters. I'm going to express them as opinions, but I think maybe a useful question to keep in mind would be, uh, would I know anything different about the world if this stuff was actually true? So the value of understanding that whatever anyone says to you contains at least 1% truth is that you really learn to listen to what they're telling you. When you think somebody is full of shit, they're really only 99% full of shit. <laughs> But be careful of your certitude. In fact, be careful of anyone's certitude. Nothing is only on or off, true or false. There's always at least a third way to think about something. There are often thousands of different perspectives. Now there's a lot of energy in this rock right here. <laughs> It could ha something could happen while we're watching it or it could take thousands of years. And the question I have to you is how long are you going to sit there and wait for something to happen? <laughs> so nobody who contacts you out of the blue will offer you a deal that will benefit you more than it benefits them. No spammer, no door-to-door -door salesman, no telephone solicitor. This doesn't mean you're not going to get something of value out of the transaction, but you will be at the disadvantage. We're often drawn to the idea of conspiracy because it's so hard to believe that tragedy is a part of human life. Sadly, what looks like a conspiracy can easily be explained as the emergent properties of normal human incompetence. <laughs> This is Maxwell's Law of Countervailing Forces. The pendulum always swings the other way. Um, and this is something I wish somebody had told me when I was younger. The one windfall of savings that you think you might get when you move into a new job that pays you more will inevitably, inevitably disappear in a cloud of new and seemingly vital expenses. <laughs> now Woody Allen has made 37 movies since 1970. That's a movie a year. And whether he makes a fantastic film like Match Point or he makes a clunker like Celebrity, it doesn't matter because he makes another movie the next year. He keeps working on his craft. Humor can be like the rattlesnake's rattle. Humor is truth, and someone who can really tell the truth to you is not someone you want to fuck with. <laughs> Uh, these are a couple things that I think we need for Web 3.0. I've heard a lot about identity, but I think that these other ideas need, some, uh, need to be talked about. Um, tracking your personal data needs to be uh, automated, and being able to apply multiple services to a central storehouse of your personal data would be a boon for online businesses. Make sure that you can answer this question. Ask it often and answer it honestly. It seems simple enough, but in our early lives, what we want, what we think we want, is determined by what other people want for us. When you can truly answer this question for yourself, you'll find it a lot easier to get to the answer. Other people experience the world differently than you do. We all have our own filters, and they're shaped partly by genetics and somewhat by our life experience. The problem is, really understanding the truth of this is hard. Any large group of people that share similar skills, mindset, and a cohesive bond cannot be blinked out of existence. Such groups can be disbanded, but the individuals will, will retain their skills and seek to apply them in new ways. Similarly, institutions, social or political movements, and militaries have mass and weight and are subject to laws that are analogous to the laws of physics. In other words, they have momentum, they have inertia, they have gravity, and so on. Um, this is a, uh, coming up as a law for project management. State how long you think a project will take, double it, and increment the time unit to the next higher one. So if you think something will take two hours, it'll take four days. If you think it'll take three days, it'll take six weeks. It's my brother's law. The difference between success and failure in almost every case is how much effort you're willing to put in to achieve your gain. You will not be successful by being clever. There is no clever way to win a marathon. You simply have to endure more. Human behavioral impulses cannot be legislated out of existence. 
the only way to modify human behavior is to identify a reward system that's more compelling than the one that's currently in place. I think about this in terms of DRM, obviously. Now, you can only predict the kinds of decisions any company will make by watching the people at the very top. I originally thought of this because of the blogging of Robert Scoble. Now, I've met Robert Scoble, I'm sure a lot of you have. I think he's genuine and intelligent. Uh, this comment isn't really about him. It's about how other people responded to his, uh, interpreted his blogging as a sign of new openness at Microsoft. But the truth is that Robert Scoble was like the bullfighter's cape. We need to understand that it's not the cape we need to pay attention to, it's the guys with the swords. I'm Stuart Maxwell. Thanks very much for listening.